Hi everybody, I am Natarajan Krishnamurthy, Product Marketing Manager for Juniper Open RAN Solutions. And today I am going to talk about how service providers can achieve new levels of service agility, automation and operational efficiency by unlocking innovation and value in the RAN. So we are going to talk about two Juniper solutions, Juniper RAN Intelligent Controller and ORAN Service Management and Orchestration. So let me start with Juniper RAN Intelligent Controller. I am happy to share that Juniper RAN Intelligent Controller has been awarded the GLOMO Award for Best Network Software Breakthrough at Mobile World Congress 2023. This is in partnership with Rakuten Symphony for the Rakuten Sim World platform with Juniper RAN Intelligent Controller. Juniper provides a RAN Intelligent Controller platform which is fully compliant with ORAN Alliance specifications and interfaces. We have the near real-time rig, we have the non-real-time rig, as well as the X apps and the R apps. Juniper RIC platform also provides an open API and an SDK to onboard applications from third-party vendors. This gives greater flexibility and uh, choice of suppliers to service providers. In this demo, we are showcasing three different use cases, admission control, traffic steering, and energy savings. The admission control and traffic steering use cases were demonstrated uh, with Vodafone on a live network running commercial traffic. Parallel Wireless was providing the RAN for that deployment. So let me get into this admission control use case. Admission control is used to deliver priority services for any user type at any time. For example, it could be for public safety users, schools, hospitals, etc. This is the setup that we use to kind of validate this use case. So Parallel Wireless was providing the RAM. We had the Juniper near real-time RIC, non-real-time RIC, and Juniper was providing the admission control, R app, and X app. Traffic steering R app was coming from Juniper, and traffic steering X app was coming from Parallel Wireless. This is an example of how a third-party vendor has developed an X app on top of Juniper near real-time RIC platform. So let's get into this use case. So we have a landscape with a suburban area and a rural area. So let's start with by configuring admission control. So we are first starting with Juniper non-real-time RIC where we are going to onboard the admission control R app. The next step is we have two near RT RICs where we are going to onboard admission control X apps. So here you could see two admission control X apps running, one in the rural area, one in the suburban area. The tenant we have here is a public safety tenant. He has subscribed for 2000 UEs as his SLA. By default, 1000 have been allocated to the suburban area, 1000 has been allocated to the rural area. We have a normal situation here, there is no emergency. The number of active UEs is well within this 1000 limit, so you don't see any rejections here. Now, let's say we have an emergency uh, in the rural area. There is a fire in the rural area. You have first responders, firefighters, healthcare personnel arriving. Uh, in the rural area and trying to connect to the network uh, and you suddenly see a kind of a spike in the number of active UEs in the rural area. You have about 242 rejections for this tenant. So this is not a situation that we want. So this is where RIC comes into picture. RIC can get triggered by an external enrichment server or it can identify on its own that there are rejections in the rural area and automatically increase the allocation of resources in the rural area. Here you could see the trick has increased the allocation in the rural area from 1000 to 1800. It has reduced the allocation in suburb from 1000 to 200. And you can see here that the number of rejections has come in the rural area has come down to zero. And you could see that on the, in the rural area, all the active UEs who needed connections are getting connections. This is a simple deployment where we are showing a single tenant. But in a typical deployment, you could have hundreds of such tenants each of them having needing their own resources. And that's why you need something like a rig to be able to manage this. Now the emergency situation has gone away. Uh, so the allocation has gone back to uh, 1000 each in suburb and rural area. So in summary, admission control is able to provide dynamic allocation of network resources without having to over provisioning resources at each location. And the services here are automatically optimized by the RAN based on real time data. Since this is based on Open RAN, if you develop an application once, it can be used across all vendors without having any vendor-specific implementations. We will take a quick look at the ORAN service management orchestration. Before we get into the demo, let's look at why do you need a new approach to service management and orchestration. 
The first is evolving architectures. Service providers are moving from closed monolithic solutions to virtualized, disaggregated and open solutions. Second, massive scale. With 5G and ORAN, services are going to be delivered from thousands of clouds and tens and thousands of radio sites. The third is drive for on-demand service models. Service providers want to spin up new custom services on demand and deliver them under SLAs and charge them on an as-a-service basis. To overcome this complexity, Juniper has, is providing a service management orchestration platform for OpenRAN. It's fully standard compliant, supporting 3GPP, TMF, and OpenRAN standards. It implements the RAN network slice management function. It has the near real-time RIC, non-real-time RIC. It has FOCOM, which is Federated Workload Management and Orchestration which takes care of management of infrastructure resources like data centers, clusters, on top of which the network functions are going to be deployed. It has the network function orchestrator, the NFO, which takes care of orchestrating the network functions such as ODU, OCU, near real-time RIC on top of this cloud. So we are going to demonstrate ORAN SMO's capabilities with this topology. It's we have a Barcelona landscape where we have a regional cloud, three different edge clouds, Along with their ORUs, we are going to show how ORAN SMO can be used to deploy and manage slices to an enterprise as well as an industry. We will be walking through the entire life cycle of a network slice, starting with the preparation phase, where we are going to onboard cloud infrastructure, design slice and service templates, create, do service creation, do service activation, do service operations to ensure the SLAs uh, within the confirmed limits, and as well as slice termination. Juniper SMO has been designed with a clean slate architecture to implement and monetize network slicing. It uses open interfaces across the entire architecture to support multi-vendor ecosystem.